Ego LV2 HPR Tech Bulletin. The first small batch of LV2s will require a replacement HPR body. This video will show you how to install your replacement LPR body. First thing to do is remove the foregrip. Pull that down. This is the part we're going to replace, which is the HPR body. Just to ensure there's no air inside here, switch on your marker, turn off the eyes, hold the bolt pin, and pull the trigger, and hear it click. There's no gas stored in the HPR or LPR there. Now we need to remove the retaining clip. This red clip here holds in the HPR body and the LPR body. You need to apply some pressure to the LPR body. See a small amount of movement there. Squeeze that in and then slide the clip back. Pull it halfway and then you can release it and that will allow the LPR body to stay in and allow access to the HPR. You may need to use something like a microfiber to grab hold of the HPR body. Just give it a wiggle as you slide it out. So this is the part that we're going to replace. Just wipe the grease off that and be able to show you the difference. So here you can see flats on the HPR body where the retaining clip holds it in place. These flats have now been replaced with a machined groove all the way around. So that's the easy way to tell. If there's a groove around this area here, it's an updated part. If it just has the two small flaps on the HPR body, that needs to be replaced with the updated part. Okay. All we need to do is remove the adjuster assembly. And remove that. Drop that into the new HPR body. Screw this all the way out. I would turn it until it stops and then go back in two turns as just a baseline for um, when it's rebuilt. You will obviously need to re-chronograph the marker after replacing this part. You want some grease on the two O-rings on the outside of the HPR body. And while we're inside here, we may as well just put a small amount of grease onto the number eight inside the adjuster. This is the one that the piston goes through. And then we just want to obviously make sure the piston and spring is still inside there. And carefully push the HPR body back in. You need to have these flats here, flat here to the flat against the LPR, otherwise it won't go in. Push it in gently, just wiggle it carefully so as not to cut the O-rings as you push it in. It should be in flush and then put the clip back in. Again, apply some pressure to the LPR body, push that in, slide the clip in. Now it new HPR body is installed, full grip can go back on and that is the updated HPR body installed in the Ego LV2.